A special celebrity guest is here to host tonight's Golden Power Veto competition. Now on Big Brother Cheesecake 3 Under the Sea. Look at these fall colors! Orange, red, brown! It's like a beautiful Jackson Pollock painting! I love autumn! I love Thanksgiving and pumpkin pie! Hello, I'm Don Cherry! Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 3 Under the Sea! You might recognize me from Coach's Corner with Ron McClain! Where's Ron McClain, by the way? Jail? Child porn? I can't say I'm surprised! This episode is brought to you in part by Pogo Breakfast Maple Flavored Sausage! Just when you think Pogo couldn't get any more disgusting, they make it maple flavored! What the hell's wrong with these people? Jeez, Alou! It's also brought to you in part by Depends Underwear. Are the Leafs gonna win the playoffs? Depends! Okay. Debbie from season one said that I was. Talking too fast and too loud. I'm not loud. What the hell's wrong with you, Debbie? I'm Don Cherry, and I'm here to host the Yankee Swap Power of Eto competition with a whole bunch of good Canadian boys. Okay, kids, kids, gather around. Okay, here we go. Let's get to the results. It's very simple competition. You just had to bet one to a hundred cookies. Whoever had the lowest bet ended up going into the shark tank. They had to bet higher or lower on a card. If they failed, they got a prize and they could keep the prize or trade it for another one. Whoever ended up with the golden veto wanted. Very simple rules. Up yours, Debbie. Okay, let's get to the results. Okay, look at this now. Anyhow, uh, Krista, she bet one cookie. What the hell's wrong with you? Talk about not being a good Canadian boy. Okay. She goes, uh, she gets an ace. Lucky bitch. She goes higher. Nine. She goes lower. Let's get an instant replay. Oh, jeez, a low. Look at that. She got a ten, so she's out of the game. But she wins a prize. She picks E. Pro Preventer. She's won the Pro Preventer. In any week with five or more names in the draw, you can remove three names from the bottom of the C draw, and it's private, so they won't know you picked them. Good job, Krista! Actually, not really. You really fucked the pooch there like the Montreal Canadiens. Worst Canadian team! Round two. Nicole bets one cookie. What the hell's wrong with these people? One cookie? What's that gonna get you? Okay, so she goes in the tank. Eight. Higher or lower? Lower. Seven. Higher or lower? Higher. Let's look at the replay. Oh my god! She's out of the competition. Holy Mackinac! Okay, she gets a prize. A. Chantel says, Jesus, intense. I like her attitude. Okay, she gets an advantage. You have won an advantage in the next head of household competition. Do you wish to keep this or trade it for the pro preventer? She keeps it. Isn't that sweet? I always taught my Boston Bruins to nail them to the boards. Okay, round three. Uh, lowest bet? Charlene at five. Oh, Joanne will be so upset that Charlene has to swim with the sharks. She gets a queen. Lower. Eight. She says higher. Let's look at the replay. Oh my god, jeez, Alou, nobody can get past the third card. Charlene is out. She picks W. Why would you pick W? She wins a white t-shirt. She wins the white t-shirt that I wore in most of the season one and two episodes of Big Brother Cheesecake. It <clears throat> Chad says if it was my shirt, she would keep it just to smell it. Oh my god! 
That's disgusting! She traded it for Nicole's advantage. Nicole always gets the shaft, and not the good kind! Okay, so Charlene, advantage in next HOH, Krista, Pro Preventer, Nicole, white t-shirt. Round 4. Emad gets the shark tanks with just 7 cookies. 2. He goes higher. 4. Higher. 6. Higher. 9. He goes against the odds and goes higher. And it's a jack. Then he goes lower. Let's take the instant replay. Oh. oh my god, look at that. Look at this now. Anyhow, let's get back to it now. Emad survives the shark tank. I did notice uh, there were a lot of people really happy he survived the shark tank and a lot of people who couldn't give a fuck. That's very telling. Okay. Anyhow, look at this now. How much time is left? Two minutes? CBC keeps cutting my time, fucking liberal yahoos. If they come to Kingston, I'm not taking them to lunch. Well, maybe to Arby's on Division Street. Okay. Um, Chad is next in the tank. 22 cookies. Uh-oh. He goes five. Higher. Uh, queen, lower. Nine. Can I replace that card, he says. No, you can't replace that card. Don't you know the rules? Okay. He goes lower, and let's check the replay. It's a king! Bye, Felicia! Okay, so he picks, um, uh, oh, railroads. He's won the four railroads, which will be used in a future Monopoly-based competition, which he keeps. Uh, round 5, Emad 37, Cookies left, Jonathan 39, Emad swings of the swings of the sharks, 9, higher or lower, lower, 6, higher or lower, he goes higher, and, uh oh, SpaghettiOs, he gets a 2, which means Emad, you're out, he picks the eye, he wins the utilities, which he trades for, Krista's Pearl Preventer. So we have Chad, Railroads, Krista, Utilities, Nicole, White T-Shirt, Emad, Pearl Preventer, Charlene, Advantage, and Next HOH. Okay, Jonathan is last. Obviously it's the Golden Power Veto, which was under you. It was a trick that clever Andrew put in it as you win POVOMG. Ha ha ha. Okay. Chantel says dramatic pause. I love her attitude. And Jonathan decides... To keep the veto, which means... Holy Mackinac! Chad wins the step. No! No! Uh, Jonathan wins the golden power of veto! Jonathan, you have until 10 p.m. tonight to privately message me whether or not you're using the veto and on who. Uh, tomorrow, power veto ceremony. Tuesday, final two nominees make their case. And Wednesday is the next live eviction ahead of household competition. I'm Dog Cherry. They said they would pay me in pogos. I'm waiting for my pogos! Okay, bye Debbie!